So we're doing Ninja Doc again. But if you don't know what Ninja Doc or Dr. Silent is, it uses the two calm add-ons plus monitor and abuse to basically put my terror radius down as low as it can get. I think it's, I've, I totally forgot how many meters the terror radius is when I'm in uh, treatment mode or no, punishment mode, but it's pretty damn low. So what we got here is we got a nurse's calling 28 meters away. I can see people healing. I can see their auras helps me sneak up on them so they don't know I'm coming when I'm in my punishment mode. Then we got no one escapes death so just for the end game pressure and being able to just sneak up on people and one shot down them without them knowing it's pretty it's pretty damn nice. Then we got Hex Rune, slow the game down just a little bit so that we have time to actually go around the map and smack people and maybe try to take someone off the generator, but I don't think I've done that yet with Doctor as Doctor Silent. And then we got monitor and abuse, so inside of a chase it increases my terror radius by 8 meters and outside of a chase it decreases it by 8 meters. And then for add-ons, we got calm Carter notes, considerably increases terror radius and considerably decreases terror radius. And then we got calm class 2, which moderately increases and moderately decreases, so it brings down my terror radius a lot when I'm in punishment mode and brings it up a lot when it's in treatment mode. And then for offering, we're gonna go to Larry's because it's the best map for this perk build just for the sheer fact that there's so many walls and you can't really see where people are. So we're going to go ahead and fuck up some people because I'm getting annoyed today. This is one of the more fun builds that I do. I got a lot of fun builds that I do, but this is one of one of my favorite other than, you know, Peekaboo Myers. He's just honestly one of the best builds ever in Larry's. It just makes me so happy when I play that. <laughs> It's just so fun. I don't know why. Ah oh, shit. I feel so big or so fast with the uh, the field of view. I honestly thought he had decisive, or not decisive, uh, dead hard when he did that. But he didn't, so it's okay. There's no decisive in this game, which is nice. So in order to find people right now, since we've got our first hook, we're gonna go ahead and try and tear up someone. Just so that we can find them. Hello? I would like to know. Oh, there's someone. Nice, he got stuck. <laughs> well, that wasn't smart. Is this guy gonna get into tier two? Yes, he will. So we're gonna put him right here because we have a clear path to go over there. We can find him again since I haven't tiered him up yet. ran straight into me. I don't know if you, uh, uh, you knew where I was going or not, but you just kind of uh, didn't pay attention. <laughs> this guy's over here. <laughs> he ran into the back like an idiot. Oh god, I'm the idiot. <laughs> nope, you are. Why did you go around? Ah! You could have easily dropped that pallet. <clears throat> easily have dropped that pallet. But you decided not to. I don't know why. I don't know. I, this is the second time I've ran in there. There's two people here. Oh, you, you fucked up now.
How new are you? And where are my rank one survivors? They're gonna go back to that, that generator. So I'm gonna see if I can stop them before they go back. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> oh, hi buddy. How's it going? Hi. Might as well break this. Ah! Oh, that was that was not a good idea. Ah! I won't kill him right off the bat. I'll make this a little bit fun. I was like, should I drop him? Should I? Should I really? He's going directly to another hook, so I'm just going to hook him over there. Guys, there's four generators left. This should not be... Ha well, actually, this is typical... Uh, this is typical uh, ninja doc. You crawled yourself to another hook. You would have been good if you didn't crawl yourself to a hook. You would have been good just sitting right there. You would have got off my shoulder and everything. That was weird. I heard, or was that my crow? Did I scare that crow? I don't know. I heard a crow. Well, he killed himself. Howdy! <laughs> he hasn't even been teared up yet, so I can go ahead and do this. I'll, well, it's still a big ass blood trail. It's not like I won't find him. He did have dead heart. I thought he did. He just messed it up last time and didn't use it. Oh, there they go. <coughs> that wasn't too hard. You don't run. This guy is 100% new. You don't run straight to a damn locker like that. And he was on that generator. Oh no, he wasn't. Interesting. So now we got the last guy I gotta find. He's gonna be hiding in a locker, 100%. There's no hatch. Or, he won't be in a locker. Mine as well. A few moments later. I ain't showing any mercy. I won fair and square. Screw you guys. This shit happens all the time with me as survive. Well, no, actually, I'll actually get the hatch. Like I'll get a, I'll get both of the generators to get the hatch. 
and then have to wait for them to die because they all suck. But I won. Fair and goddamn square. Ninja Doc. Goddamn ninja. Ah, I forgot to change my name. I was gonna do another build, but oh, thank you. I only had a brown Larry's offering left, and I was so happy. I only had one, and I was so happy that I actually got this. Oh, come on, Totem. Why did you spawn next to a generator? Can you give me a perfectly fine answer as to why you spawned next to a fucking Totem or next to a generator? I would honestly like to know. <laughs> Spawning next to a generator should not happen. Under any circumstances should it spawn anywhere close to a generator. Oh, you almost got me with that one. Wait, you done fucked up. You done fucked up. If you were smart, you would not have jumped in. <laughs> but obviously you're not. So what we're going to try and do is find someone making their way over here. I already knew that. I, there's no way I was going to keep that with it next to a goddamn generator. <laughs> there was another guy here. Yep, I knew it. Hello there. I wanted to hit that and get back, but it's okay. They're both going the same way. You done fucked up. You done fucked up. You were lagging a little bit. Can I make it to the basement again? Yeah, yeah, I can. This is not going to be a good game, especially if someone has borrowed time. Because I can't keep my basement on lock with a borrowed time. That wasn't a good idea. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I would have got her anyway, but that sucks. Where did I down that guy? Somewhere around.
The other guy's still down there. But I'm gonna go get this guy. One second. Hi, how's it going, everyone? <laughs> oh, I knew you were still down there. You didn't come out. Get your dirty ass back here. That's not very nice. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. Well, I guess this was more, had more shit in it. Oh, hi. A little bit more entertaining, I guess. Um. Ended abruptly and very fast. The second that he didn't come out of the basement, I knew he was done because if he wasn't gonna come out, I, I would have heard him. And once I got that other guy down, and there was only the two guys left, and he put the other guy up, and I smacked him back down and shit, and yeah, it was downhill from there. It was bad. But I'm a goddamn ninja. Goddamn ninja motherfuckers. Ooh, that brand new part though. Usually when you see a box in the lobby, it's usually a brand new part. <laughs> I'm just all about this money I don't think about no thighs Girl, you don't know about me So get off my fucking D Born and raised in the thigh This is real as you gon' see Girl, you don't know about me So get off my fucking D